I'm Johnny Nomega, CEO of Nomega Recording Studio. And I'm here to talk to you today about copyrights. What they are, when do you need them and how much they cost, what is a poor man's copyright, what's the difference between copywriting, publishing, trademarks, and service marks, what copyright form to use, how to fill out a copyright form, and do you need a lawyer to copyright your music. Well, according to copyright.gov, a copyright is a form of protection provided by the laws of the United States to the authors of original works of authorship, including literary, dramatic, musical, artistic, and certain other intellectual works. In layman's terms, the music you create, you mail to the copyright office, and they see to it that no one steals your music. When do you need it and how much it costs? Theoretically, the instance you create music, you have ownership. In the real world, you have to prove that ownership, and that's why the copyright office exists. How much does it cost? Roughly 50 to 60 bucks. If you file online, you can get a discount of $10, and yes, you can file online. Now, what is a poor man's copyright? A poor man's copyright is when you mail up your music and mail it to yourself. The problem with this is, in the court of law, it's hard to prove that you didn't tamper with the envelope, so I suggest to everyone, copyright your music. Now, what's the difference between copywriting, publishing, trademarks, and service marks? We just went over copyrights. Publishing is the collecting of the music, excuse me, the collecting of the monies called royalties from the selling and producing of your music. Trademarks is a physical logo like the McDonald's arch or the Nike check that identifies a business. And a service mark is a sound or any creation that identifies a service like the MGM Roar or the Sega Genesis Sega uh, service mark. What copyright form do I use? There's lots of copyright forms pertaining to music. There's a top three, a SR, a TX, and a PA. PA is a performing artist. A TX is a literary for those that are write poems and books. And SR is sound recording. It's very simplistic to fill out a copyright form. They ask for your name. They ask for your date of birth. When do you create the music? How long it is? Uh, did you have any help? If you did have help in creating it, you have to write down who. Who wrote the song? Who produced the song? As in who created the composition? As well as who performed the song? All of these are considered the authors or creators of the music or the piece. Now, do you need a lawyer or an agent to file that form for you? No, you don't. You just have to have an internet connection. You can file it yourself. But if you find yourself in litigation, someone else says they wrote it or is using your material, you may want to find an entertainment lawyer, which is different from a normal lawyer. An entertainment lawyer specializes in the music industry to file that claim for you. Thanks. Once again, I am Johnny Nomega, CEO of Nomega Recording Studios. And I'm out. <laughs>